Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I am Matt, hope you're all doing well. Today we are gonna check out the Nord Kit by Smoke. This is an all-in-one device that comes with an MTL coil head and also a mesh sub-ohm coil head, 1100 milliamp hour battery. So let's go ahead and dive into it. This is what your packaging is gonna look like. Also, one thing to mention is that Smoke now has this uh, counterfeit protection emblem here. Apparently there's some sort of uh, laser technology going on and it's really hard to duplicate. So if you're wondering if your uh, smoke device is uh, real or not, look at the S's. It should move when you, when you do that. See that? Okay. Apparently there's a lot of uh, fake uh, smoke products out there. So that's why they're doing stuff like this. Now inside you are going to have a user manual, a warranty card, your Nord device, and this is going to come in a bunch of different color combinations. This is the one I've been using. I like the white and black, but as you can see, it's got the same type of styling as the Novo kit. It's got that honeycomb design on it. Then you have a charging cable and two coil heads. Okay, so this thing's about 94 millimeters tall, about 30 millimeters wide, and about 18 millimeters thick. 1100 milliamp hour battery, like I said. This is Nord on one side, Smoke on the other. This is a push button device, unlike the Novo. You got your charging port on the bottom there, micro USB. Little window in your pod right there, so you can see your liquid level, but it's not super duper easy to see. Uh, you know, once it gets past a certain point, you're not gonna see it anymore. So to get that pot out, you pull out like so, and it does have a press fit design. Um, there's no magnets on here. Your fill port's right there. There is what your contacts look like down inside. Feels like a mixture of plastic and uh, zinc alloy, kind of like with the Novo here. Okay, basically the exact same materials, just a little bit bigger. Now you do have a fairly large size mouthpiece in that pod. You can see the, the chimney itself isn't very big, but then it flares out here uh, in the mouthpiece, okay? So it's a bigger mouthpiece than what you're gonna see in the Novo. Now these are the two coil heads that you're gonna get with it. One is a 1.4 ohm uh, MTL coil head, and that's this guy. And then the other is a mesh coil head, and it's called Nord Mesh. This one is 0.6 ohms. Kind of hard to see it down inside there, but it's, it looks like a single mesh coil, maybe more of a strip coil, I guess you would call it. And uh, airflow comes in through the bottom there. And you're also gonna be able to buy separately a ceramic coil, but that is not included in this kit, at least not in the kits that I got. So I already have what's called the regular coil in my other one, the normal 1.4 ohm MTL. We're gonna put the mesh coil head in this one, and I'm gonna attempt to get a couple drops of juice down in there, but these are not easy to prime. Uh, not the end of the world, you're just gonna to wanna to let it sit in the tank a little bit longer than you would maybe some sub-ohm tanks that have coil heads that are easier to prime. So now these don't screw in or anything like with the Breeze 2 and, uh, and uh, all-in-one systems like that. These just press fit in. So you got airflow slots on the outside there. You wanna keep them on the outside like so on the two sides. And then you just press this guy down in there and it's held together by an O-ring. Okay, so it's all the way in now. They say three mLs of liquid, but as you can see, the MTL coil is a little bit smaller than the mesh, so you're probably gonna get a little bit less with the mesh coil head. Now to fill this, you got this little rubber tab right here. And I'm just gonna hold that back. And now we fill, nice large fill port. Now you just push the plug down in, and there it is. Next, you insert your pod. This can go either way, because remember, you got three contacts right there, and those are gonna be hitting the outside here and then the center there. So you just push it down. It has a nice fit, no movement or anything once it's in there. And then to turn this on, five clicks. That'll flash at you. And then now it's your fire button. Has a little bit of a click to it, not a bunch of travel. You can obviously turn this off when you put it in your pocket. Two clicks will show you your battery meter. It's green, green is above 70%, it'll go orange uh, 30 to 70%, then red under that. This does also have different protections built in. It's got an eight second shut off protection, short circuit protections, all that good stuff. So it is not just a completely unregulated device, but it does not regulate your wattage. So, so you will notice the vape will slowly get a little bit weaker as your battery dies, but it's not super duper noticeable with this one. Now, as far as size comparisons go, there it is next to the Novo. 
a little bit wider, a little bit thicker, a little bit taller. Here it is next to Aspire's AIO. This one's a little bit taller, but the Aspire is uh, wider. Here it is next to the Breeze 2, just about the same thing, almost the same height, but the Breeze is a little bit wider that way. And here's one more look at that white one that I've been using. I have the MTL coil head in this. Now, as far as your airflow goes, the air does look to get in from the side. So a little slot right there, a little slot right there, kind of like what we've seen in some of the other all-in-one devices, but this one does not have airflow control. Okay, let's go ahead, go up top, vape this, and talk about it a little more. All right, here is the Smoke Nord Kit. This one has the MTL coil head inside. I have a 12 milligram liquid in it. Let's vape it. Now this one has the mesh sub-ohm coil inside. Let's vape that. <laughs> 